Hey there, this is Eddie Johnson with NAV Real Estate, giving you your market update for this week. Uh, this is going to be covering October 26th through November 1st. Uh, we just had a, the Fed meeting just came back yesterday. They are going to raise rates, the Fed funds rate, 0.75%, uh, which is going to continue to increase downward pressure on the housing market and housing prices. Mortgage applications are way down. So what does that mean for you? Sellers, you might have to consider, if you're getting your showings, you're hitting your stats each week and you know, you're hitting your, your average showings per week uh, and you get past the median days on market for showings and you still don't have an offer, then you might need to consider price reduction. Uh, if you're not getting any showings, then you're probably not priced right from the jump. That's what I'm here for, I'd help you with that, but that's just the name of the game right now. We've got a typical historical slowdown in the fall going into winter pretty much dies down pretty hard right after Halloween. Um, but we also have a little bit extra because of what the Fed is doing right now with, with the Fed funds rate and what interest rates are doing. They're, historic, they're the highest they've been in, what, 20 years right now. So uh, just keep that in mind. We had this like crazy spike in appreciation the last two years. Probably gonna see a little bit of a downslope on that, right? Where we bounce back out and, and pick back up on the trend, nobody knows, uh, but just keep that in mind. They also said that they are planning on, maybe they won't uh, bump the Fed funds rate as much in the future, but they do plan on incrementally raising it for quite some time. So I think that we'll probably have higher interest rates for a while, even in the spring, uh, most likely, don't quote me, but most likely based off what Jerome Powell said, that's gonna probably put downward pressure on the housing market and prices. Could you get a bump in the spring? with, you know, which is the, the best time, typically the most buyers are out there. Yes, you could certainly get a bump, uh, but don't expect to maybe get the same price you would have gotten just a few months ago in the spring. You just gotta be realistic about it, right? Rates go up, they kill buyer demand. Buyer affordability goes way down. It is what it is. So buyers, hey, there's a great opportunity for you. Um, potentially, if you, if you can do it, if the, the payment makes sense, the home's priced right, you know, let's say a home's been on the market for a while, it hasn't sold yet, hasn't gotten any offers. There could be an opportunity there to jump in and potentially get either a price reduction and or a price reduction with a potential rate buy down. There's a lot of great lending things you can do right now. You can do a three, two, one buy down. You can do a two, one buy down. You can just buy the rate down uh, permanently. Three, two, one, basically you're getting 3% off what the rates are the day you lock. And the next year it's 2% uh, less last year it's 1% and then you're back on the normal interest rate with the hopes in that time frame that rates come back down and you have a chance to refinance. Uh, if that's something that works great for you, we can potentially negotiate that on the seller side, have them pay concessions. Uh, just keep in mind that when you do do price reductions, you do make those offers, it could get competitive again because they're gonna message everybody out there uh, who's seen that property uh, to see if they wanna place an offer. So. There's still buyers out there. They're just there at the right price. So just keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> I would only recommend doing that though, if you can afford that payment at what that interest rate is today. You know, a lot of people say, uh, marry the house, stay at the rate. I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean, that's great and all, but nobody knows what the future holds and who knows how long it'll be until rates come back down to a more palatable version for you. So just make sure that you can pay that that payment, you can you can deal with that uh, once it does come to fruition three years. Um, but more than likely, once we go into recession, which it looks like we're definitely going into, uh, the Fed sh typically lowers rates to re-stimulate the market. But they've got to get inflation under wraps first, and only time will tell when that's going to be. I don't think it's going to be this spring. I think that we, we're coming off an anomaly. Uh, it's kind of like drinking too much, right? You get this great high, you know, keep drinking, keep drinking, and then there's a little bit of a come down, right? Uh, same with sugar. Uh, anytime in history we've ever had that kind of a spike in appreciation, it's always had some sort of a downward uh, uh, fall to a certain point before it stabilizes. And the Fed is the one controlling that right now. So no one knows for sure when that's gonna be, um, but if you can do it, there are some opportunities for you to save some money the first few years, have maybe the seller pay for that potentially. Uh, sellers, if you need to sell, um, those are some things you can give up to buyers too to move your property. Marketing's key, uh, presentation's key, empty house, staging's great, 
Uh, I'm doing everything I can do with my clients right now on listings to, to market them across every sort of channel possible to get them the most impressions, the most, the most views as possible to get the most attention to hopefully find that buyer. Okay. Hope everybody's doing great. We're coming to the holidays. We're going to get some snow today. It looks like if you have any questions, please let me know. Hope everyone's doing well and I'll talk to you soon.